Kevin Tibbles joined NBC News in 1995 as a foreign correspondent, traveling the globe covering breaking news, reporting on some of the biggest stories, like the war in Iraq. So far, we've heard several thuds, which we would assume to be cruise missiles landing in this neighborhood. And the death of Princess Diana. I am coming to you from just outside the gates of Buckingham Palace. 22 million pounds of plastic is dumped into the Great Lakes each year. In 2000, he moved to the United States and has been our go-to reporter out of Chicago for more than 20 years. With the front row seat to history, covering our country's first black president. And they're expecting many as a million people for this a victory party for Barack Obama. And he was on the ground for some of our greatest challenges, like Hurricane Katrina and Rita. If these levees are not breached now, they are certainly going to be weakened. Kevin's covered five Olympic Games and some of the world's greatest athletes. If you need anybody, give me a call. Right. He learned how to fight like an ancient gladiator. Well, I am scared. And in his own way, he introduced us to the opera in China. Pavarotti, this ain't Joe. Tibbs, as we call him, has a seemingly endless appetite for adventure. He's golfed on the glaciers of Iceland. The 18th hole is somewhere beneath those clouds. Baby. And gotten up close and personal with beluga whales. Thanks. He's a top-notch correspondent with a huge heart. You have a very pretty face. Tibbs has done it all. Are you rolling? Yeah. Because I'm doing this once only. Ah! Goodbye, cruel world. And while his adventures at NBC may be coming to an end, if we know Kevin, there's no question there'll be plenty more ahead. Ah, oh, with that, ladies and gentlemen, Kevin Tibbles. Kevin, we we love you so much. We love seeing those adventures. Why were you always in the cold places? <laughs> Well, of course, as a uh, proud uh, Canadian, um, who else are you going to stick out there in the uh, freezing cold weather? And uh, I have to say, uh, Al, that uh, it's snowing pretty good outside my little Chicago home right now. I'm, uh, I'm very glad that I'm inside in the warmth, uh, feeling the warmth and all the love, of course. Mm. Hey, Tibbs, is, is there a story <laughs> after 25 years that really stands out more than the others? Well, I, uh, Craig, you know, I, um, I've loved everything that I've done, and I think you just had a little example of how wild it can get, uh, especially when you're working for it today. Uh, but I really enjoy the company of other people, people I've never met. You know, as kids, when we were growing up, my mom and dad drove us from coast to coast to coast. Um, and uh, my father always used to speak to everyone while us kids lay on the back seat of the car out of embarrassment because he would, <laughs> he would talk to everyone. And, and unfortunately, that's what's now happened to my own children yeah. who are now, have now grown up and taken off to get as far away from me as possible. But I can, I can always coax a soundbite out of anyone Primarily because I'm actually interested in what they have to say, and it's, right. it's just charmer. been a blessing. Yeah. Um, it's <laughs> Kevin, you it's know, been, I, it's been a blessing, and uh, yeah, Kevin, hey. I wanted to tell you, you know, as a young reporter, I used to read your scripts because, besides being a great interviewer, you were an incredible writer. Yes. I, I see that typewriter there behind you, and I'm wondering, uh, are there books in you? <laughs> what, what, are, what are you going to do after this? Well, I, actually, I'm going to be calling up Jay the Monk right after this interview, <laughs> and hopefully he's going to be here. Uh... <laughs> um, I, uh, I have a summer place uh, that's winterized uh, up in Quebec on the St. Lawrence, a Ooh. beautiful part of the world. I'm going to go sit there and look out the window for a little while and mm. watch the boats go by. Mm. I, uh, I have lots of plans. I just haven't decided. To, of course, I'm going to play some hockey. Um, <laughs> and... Um, I've really taken to curling, which is wow. a crazy, okay. crazy four-year four -year phenomenon every Olympics. And uh, I'm going to be doing my curling. You know, I might have a little time to do some typing in between, but uh, we'll see. Well, Kevin, it's a, it's a well-earned rest. We're going to miss you, but well done, my friend. Well done. Uh, we love you, and thank you so much for everything you've given to this network over the yeah. years. Yeah. Thanks, Tim. Thank you, Tim.
Just, uh, just don't let me get emotional here. <laughs> we won't let it happen. We will miss you. Uh, you don't have yeah. to play golf on Iceland, in Iceland anymore. You, <laughs> yes. can, you can go to Florida now. Exactly. Well, you know, I, uh, <laughs> they got they got those uh, you know they've got those blue lagoon uh, hot pools or oh, yeah. natural oh, sure. springs there. So nice. after after a rough game of golf, you can go relax in there with you know. Well, I'm doing a dry January and February and March right now. So yeah. Well, there's yeah, always a little yeah, exactly. shot Thank you, of, uh, thank you tips. <laughs> thank you, Kevin. <laughs> Keep in thank touch. You. All right. Bless you all. Thank you. Yeah, okay. we love you. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.